in there. What I want to say is that you are wasting your time. I just want to inform all the Zambians, wake up, wake up. Democracy is not for you, PND. What is happening on the floor of the house is to try and gag us. And they will not manage, they will not succeed. I'm appealing to any well-meaning backbencher in the house to be truthful to themselves. Like the one who asked the question on the equipment which was purchased in 2012, which has which have not reached most of councils in the southern province. Who who was responsible for that? Today we should have angels. We have an issue of university teaching hospital car park. Who was the engineer? I end there. Zambians, you answer for yourselves. Ask them, who was the engineer for this UTH car park? And who signed the, the build or parade for Bama market for 50 years agreement? Who did that? I end there. But today, they want to be champions of uh, good behavior. Come on, guys. The, what they've been doing, they're conniving. When they connive, then they'll ask someone to stand. But because their junior, Dr. Katakwe, didn't have facts, they decided to use Honorable Jack Mwimbu and to use standing order number 207. And I'm waiting for them. To those who are watching, that's why I didn't want even to look at him because he's wasting his time and they can suspend me. They can do whatever they want to. What I know, according to the Constitution, they have no right to grab Chengi's seat for me. They're in a hurry to cause by-elections, but not in Chengi. Not in Chengi. As I introduced myself before I had challenges with internet, not in Chengi. If we are going to sit back and watch these guys do what they're doing, I can assure you, this is the only way they're going to do whatever they want to do. They want to make sure that the time they sit, the, the, the Powers and Privileges Committee of National Assembly, to remove those who can talk like me. I don't fear anyone apart from God. And I can only fear if I'm talking things that are not happening. Why should I support something wrong on the floor of the house? They know the penal code that they want to amend. Believe me, there are certain things they want to decrim decriminalize. And you know where it's going. Once that thing is no longer uh, a criminal offense, <clears throat> I end there. But what I'm saying is that I'm not standing for Chiengi alone. When I was sworn in and I lifted that Bible, I, 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 I had to swear and to say I shall defend and protect the constitution of this country. Not I shall defend and protect myself or Chiengi constituency, no. They feel that they are champions. No. Sorry, I'm, I don't know why today suddenly I'm having challenges with internet. They feel they are champions of democracy. Even you guys who are supporting them, let me tell you, you cannot support those who are on top and they're enjoying. You and your duty is to come on Facebook and write and insult people. Listen and open your eyes. Look at what is happening. The PF MPs, they cannot talk. They've been guarded by that fear. Whoever talks, they start investigating him. Whoever talks, they start investigating him. But for me, I'm in that parliament to make sure that our constitution is not raped. And I'm not going to allow that. They can suspend me, but they will not suspend my voice. I'll be speaking now, after they suspend me, I'll be speaking as 
and a citizen of this country. We used to have the CSOs. We don't even know where they are. They're the ones who were talking louder before this government came into power. Are you sure that all the NGOs are not seeing what is happening to our constitution? They know very well that to amend that constitution, they will need two thirds. So how do they do it? Most of independent MPs have been intimidated. Two of them have com confined in me. At your word, Shuka, Congo, Alanda, Balak, if you want to, Balak, to deal with Munanat, how? Are they the ones who, who sponsored you? They're not the ones. Mr. President, listen. Parliament has the way, the way it operates and its rules. But you need to intervene to save your image from dictatorship. Where is the power coming from in that house? They are banned, and the way they are, I know you PND, even when they were in opposition, if they start talking about one line, they will sing, they will sing, and they will convince the public that it's the truth. And this is what they want to do on me. Let them do what they want, but they will not take this voice away. And I just want to tell them, do not try to use the police to guard people. Go to that one. This one said this. We have the freedom of speech. Article 19. Honorable Jack Mwimbu, read it. You claim to be a lawyer. Read it. Freedom of expression. Freedom of affiliation. And if you think I'm going to keep quiet, I won't. My father suffered for this country. Most of people who walked even half naked, Mama Chika Monica, what did they want? Freedom and deliverance from the colonial masters. Today, if you speak at Leto Mumetu Sumeko, it won't work. So what they've done now, they've planned, they, they've conspired that when they call me to their privileges and what, then they suspend me. Okay. It's like to them, a suspension has become a norm to them. Or oh, intimidating people. In, as for me, I won't stop talking. What is wrong is wrong. What is right is right. Zambians wake up from the deep sleep. Do not be cheated. Here, whoever to a samona cake has been they use icing, icing cream on top. Inside is rotten. Start to check closely. I know how UPND operates. They talk to their MPs, they're like robots. They cannot express themselves. When they come on the floor, when it is wrong, they'll be saying yes, 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 yes. Why they're afraid of not being adopted. As for me, I've gotten now used to adopt myself. But to my colleagues in there, remember when you were being sworn in and you said you will uphold, defend the constitution of Zambia, not your political party. Mind you, life is a change. I'm yet to see an ever race, an ever lasting, everlasting government on the face of the earth. They will never be. They come, they go. And just know, the way you treat others, be ready. Tomorrow, your daughter will be a member of parliament there, or your son. <laughs> Without even me being there, maybe. And you, you will dance to Pedete, and you feel it. Don't sow a seed that would destroy this country. Don't sow that seed that would destroy this country. Only cowards resort to what is happening on the floor of the house, in parliament. Where on earth can you see two men rising to fight a woman? Namatoloshi, I think to have a pair of Kwembe. Men, so petty. Look at 
the wrongs that Jack did in the previous session. If Matibin was like them, how many times was he going to suspend him with his colleagues? How many times? They want to flex their muscles on a woman and on an independent to reduce numbers. I have good news for you, Honorable Jack Mwimbi, with your colleagues. You can bring all the bills that you want and let them pass, but they're short-lived. There will be a new government that will come and will reverse everything and you'll get arrested because you are sent there to talk on behalf of the Zambians. Not you and your political party feels should be right for the Zambians. You will never gag me. And I'm appealing to the well-meaning backbenchers. Please stand up for the constitution of this country. I would be so proud if I were belonging to a political party they tell me we will not adopt you because you are too talkative. And that's one of the things. That's one of the things they say, we are a you. So what's the purpose of having members of parliament in parliament? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you sure? People now, I've been subjected to hunger in Sala oppression and we should clap for them intimidation now has become the breakfast the lunch the supper using the name of parliament i'm ready for you honorable jack mwimbu and also privileges uh, powers and privileges of uh, national assembly for the members of parliament i'm waiting for you later I'm waiting for you later to invite me. But I want you to know, you will not shut me up. And I want to appeal to you, Madam Speaker. I want to debate freely because the, the same powers and privileges of an area member of parliament is to speak freely. Freely, freely, freely. If they want the kind of parliament where people are sh should not talk, they should take only UPND and fill it up. Then we know we, we, we voted for one part state. Tell me, be sincere, which member of parliament from UPND can talk as a backbencher? The backbenchers of UPND do not understand their role is to hold the executive accountable, not to clap for them. But look at them, you watch the National Assembly uh, uh, Parliament proceedings. Watch. I can assure you this is how dictatorships start. They've seen there because we're on the air and the whole country hears us when we're d debating. What do we do? Because they cannot switch off the, 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 the TV or the radio. Start sending fear. Start sending fear in them. Cowards, they use threats and to try to create fear, fear. But as for me, if Jesus Christ was killed and he was risen for me, why should I fear? Why should I fear? I've seen some comments uh, on my other post that oh, your, your behavior was, please, that house is not for you, PNG, where people are really slaves. Keep it to your political party. Don't bring it on the floor of the house. And I will emphasize and I will speak. When Jack Mwimbu stood up and he spoke his small English that he's learned from Ziale or wherever, trying to entice the speaker, the speaker has been breaching our constitution, even our rights as members of parliament. You cannot say you cannot talk or you cannot talk. Yes, I am a, I'm very much alive to the Powers and Privileges Act of July 2016, which was amended. I'm, I'm very much aware of it. 
And I also know what, um, according to our standing orders 207 says, to them, all of us, as long as you cannot show a certificate from UNS or CBU, you are down. Do I even know how they got their degrees if it wasn't for copy and paste? Go and check who are heading departments at UNS are there. Go and check who are the top students every year, year in, year out. Go and check for yourself as Zambians. Go and check which provinces are producing the top students every year. Go and check. Other things I will not talk, but I'm calling upon each and every Zambian because this is the political party which told us that vote for change. And the message, that was just the message. Which change? To the dictatorship? Little did I know that it was change to dictatorship? Even the little, indeed, maybe it's a fulfillment of the scripture. Those who have the little, even the little they have will be taken away from them. The little freedom we had is being taken away from us. In the history of parliament, this is what we're seeing. See how other members of parliament came into parliament. Illegally. I've always said on the floor of the house, just come out in, in open and say we are bringing, we are bringing uh, a constitution to amend from out partism to one part state. Since you have more power, you have more numbers, then we'll say, okay, since you have more numbers, but I can assure you, there's a God in heaven. The one our founders made a covenant with, and it was sealed when Zambia was declared a Christian nation. He will come down like lightning upon this land. He will come down like lightning to save his people. Because the covenant is very much alive. The, the oath and the covenant is very much alive and is speaking. No one, no Zambian, no politician will oppress anyone in this land. And God will sit quiet. Then there's no God in heaven. And I'll repeat this. There is no God in heaven. We've been fighting that we should be quoting scriptures on the floor of the house. Because we are a Christian nation. Today, somebody didn't even say from the Bible. He just said, do unto others as you'd like them to do to you and this and that. He was told, to stop quoting the Bible. What are they afraid of? What are they afraid of? People are there on record, on the floor of the house, saying there's nothing wrong to belong to uh, that uh, liberal something something for LG, LB, LGBTQ, there's nothing wrong. Today they are angels. They can even have the guts. Zambians wake up. This is a wake up call. And if you think I'm talking nonsense, it might happen to me as a member of parliament but know very well that your grandchildren would want one day to go there. And certain laws and certain things, if we do not prevent them from happening now or taking place. In Bemba, we say Mkachimi Angira. Why are they so much in a hurry? Why are they so much in a hurry? They're so much in a hurry. To be seen like they are righteous. I'll repeat myself. Who signed that uh, build operate transfer thing of Bama market for 50 years? Which the other minister came to reduce I think to 30 years. Who signed it? Today they are angels. Their equipment, earth moving equipment which was supposed to be supplied in southern province to most of municipal councils. Where is that? We have the issue of UTH Kapak. Who, who was responsible there? Today, I speak that the speaker is not treating us well. Speaker and the deputy speaker number two. It's a fact. Those who've been watching uh, Parliament, 
Most of them send me messages. They send me messages. Like I mentioned, those days I would just defend. No, she's learning. One year has passed. No, she's learning. We come to Deputy Speaker number two, Moyo. You've seen, it's the same Deputy Speaker number two who caused the PF to go on suspension. Same person. I think we should have an institution like the way we used to have PCC where the speaker, the deputy speaker, and the other deputy speaker whenever before, when they are, they, they are nominated to sit there, they go for a fresher course. They go for a fresher course so that they understand their role properly. When you see people When you see people starting to talk, then something is wrong. Don't use your cowardice by trying to rise on a point of order and trying to make people see you, make it, appeasing your master. Oh, I stood on a point of order so that this woman will be disciplined. You can discipline me, but you'll never take away what is inside me for Zambia. You will never take away that. What is ordained is ordained. You cannot destroy. You can do whatever you want to do. And I know they'll be writing letters, letters, letters. The truth of the matter, our parliament has been, you know, it has degraded to something I can't even mention. It's a chipante, pante, beer or full time. Obufumu, uchindi komuini. You don't expect to be respected when you are not respecting the members of parliament. It's a house which belongs to us, Zambians. It's called an August house. After that video, the first video, I want to say thank you to Limelight. Is it Limelight something who put that video on... Uh, YouTube. After that video, you can see a bit of normalcy, you know, in, in our house. But still, they are burning with that bitterness, anger. They have to grab all the seats to grab, to grab, to grab. Imagine where a minister of justice stands up to say these are not informed people and their debates are from uninformed uh, uh, position with him is okay. That's belittling others in, on the floor of the house. I'm begging every every Zambian, please fight for your democracy. Don't let a, any political party to manipulate your rights and your constitution to suit themselves. They work is sure. opposition. What they are told is what they do, not what the Zambians would want to see. Even now they are in the ruling, what they are doing is to appease their political party, which is wrong. Let them go ahead. I won't stop talking. They want to guard us. Even if I'm suspended, I'll be speaking as a citizen of this country. I'll make myself a civil society organization and I'll be speaking on behalf of Zambians. Because all the civil society organizations, they've got food from their master's table. They can't speak in their mouths. They can't speak. Where are they? We had those people who claimed to be uh, constitutional lawyers. Where are they? We have those people who claim to be human rights, what, what, where are they? But they're busy going to the functions, enjoying the monies that come from donors. Anyway, thank God it's not the money from the taxpayers' money. Let them enjoy. But they are conscious. Their concerns should remind them who they are and why they form that particular organization. Defend the rights of somebody from Chiengi, Shangombo, Nakonde, Katete, Petauke, Borokoso, 
Solwezi, Mwinilunga, Mwandi, Sesheke, anywhere. Protect them. We, at the moment, as far as I'm concerned, we do not have Human Rights Commission. Where do we run to? We need serious CSOs in this country who can speak boldly, who can question why the, the bill which was rejected by stakeholders, the bill which was rejected even on the floor of the house, the minister should push it through, just to go through. Who are they trying to fix? These things boomerang. Learn from PF. Learn from PF. These things do boomerang. And the truth of the matter, come 2026, come 2026, you'll see him coming in the form of lightning. Shimuel, Shima, Jehovah God Almighty, he will come down. As long as we have a lady love and over to two billets, you will so to Alanda Shan. That to Alanda Mukonkani woman if you are still in Jinga. That to Alanda in the Balanjevet. As for me, I'm representing the people of Zambia, Chiengi, and I'm upholding and defending the Zambian constitution. That's all. And that's what I'm doing. Somebody called me yesterday to her office. And you know what she said to me? Why all these outbursts? Is your marriage okay? Maybe you're having problems in your marriage. Why not? Ah. <laughs> I'm a wife. I'm a wife. At home, I'm a wife. I'm a member of parliament and a lion there. In parliament because that's what people have sent me in other ways when you're a member of parliament people are trusting you to go and fight battles for them so you cannot say i'm a very happily married person those who know me they know how i live with my husband my husband is my king even my children they know when i'm at home i'm a mother and a wife but you cannot tell me that when we're trying to stop the nonsense there in parliament then i'm having challenges in my marriage what do you mean i beg every well-meaning backbencher to understand their role and their responsibility on the floor of the house not to appease anyone, but to appease the Zambians at large, the 18 million plus. We are only 156 elected members of parliament. Who are you going to appease? You're making laws that will have a negative impact on your own mother, on your own sister, on your own institution. You don't care. As long as somebody somewhere should get fixed, this must stop. This is not the democracy people voted for. Bali is to make a change to Kakwato Mutende, to Kalai Landila, Chikalavefi, Umua, Bali Mukutu Pumashan, and hey, Namui Puri Romuri Romuema Zambians Pamakasa. May God bless you and thank you so much for watching. But I just wanted to update you that they've connived, conspired so that they can um, they knew the dr katako is too junior he didn't understand what to say so they put uh, the minister to talk all the english he learned i don't know which university or the college he went to so that it will be seen like i committed the crime which deserves crucifixion even jesus was accused and he died for a good cause I will not fear, I will not fear, and I will not relent as long as the house is not in order. As long as the speakers or presiding officers continue favoring those who are on the right hand side, I will not keep quiet. Even when they suspend me, if the very day I go there, 
I will do exactly what I've been doing as long as there's no order in the house. I'll continue doing that.